Okay, let's start. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Before we begin our show this afternoon, let us begin with the prayers. Let us now put ourselves in the holy presence of God. Three o'clock prayer to the divine mercy. You died, Jesus, but the source of life flowed out for souls and the ocean of mercy opened up for the whole world. O fountain of life, immeasurable divine mercy, cover the whole world and empty yourself out upon us. O blood and water, which flowed out from the heart of Jesus as a fountain of mercy for us, I trust in you. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and the whole world. Amen. Jesus, King of mercy, I trust in you. So our fellow H&I members and everyone, here now is the prayer for the protection for Hans Inclusion PH. God our Father, we implore you to ask for the enlightenment and rescue, a repentant success of the organization Hands in Inclusion Filipinas. We ask for the repentance of the group from the false judgments of other people, including its former members. Rescue us from all sense of power and deliver us from the lesson of revenge that comes from the devil. Keep us in putting God first, whatever is the religion of their core team, including the founder, while being inclusive to all those who are in need of inclusion especially persons with disabilities, LGBTQI+, people confused with their gender, ethnic groups, and poorest of the poor whom you also love. Help us to stop ourselves from manipulation of other people and resorting to unjust grudge, conspiracy, and violence, which might affect the people they are trying to serve. We beg for its founder and his core team, to be enlightened to see the lies behind the false doctrines and impure and violent motives of the false accusations we make and believe, and open the eyes to the truth of the pride that he holds. Help us humble ourselves, O Lord. Help us to realize that fear, envy, anger, and unforgiveness comes from Satan, and he may he stop whatever pride that he is holding. Please allow us to know ourselves a child of God. We also pray for those people who are blamed by hands inclusion Filipinas to repent from the sin they are guilty of without resorting or believing in any false accusations made by either them or any enemy they encounter. Forgive us from our accusations in any form and from all the wrong timings. In your eyes, the organization this we ask in your name. Amen. Our Lady, help of the sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Rock, pray for us. Saint Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. Saint Pedro Alonso, pray for us. Saint Claire of Montefalco, pray for us. Saint John the Baptist, pray for us. Our Lady, help of all Christians, intercede for us. Saint Monica, pray for us and our family and friends. Saint Augustine, pray for us and our family and our friends. Saint Michael the Archangel, Saint Benedict, Pope Saint Easter X and Pope Saint John Paul II, rescue us from our unintended wrongdoings. God the Holy Spirit, have mercy and change the heart of everyone. All organizations and all the people who family work with the organization who made terrible mistakes and those the people who took part in a conspiracy to
to falsely accuse anyone and hands in inclusion. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us from our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Glory, Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Pananaw at opinion ng pag-uulat ng mag-uulat sa programang ito ay hindi ang pangunahing posisyon o pahayag ng pamunuan ng organisasyong ito. The views and opinions expressed in this live report are those of the presenter and do not necessarily reflect the official policy or position of the management of this organization. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to One Inclusion Live. Did you order ours? Yes. Yes. Sure. Uh, Mine's the same Yes. Okay. Sorry, guys. Something. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to One Inclusion Live Weekend, Saturday edition. Today is Saturday. July 3, 2021. I am your host, Carlos Miguel Kanahashi, and we are broadcasting simultaneously on Incluradio and Hands in Inclusion Philippines YouTube channel. To start off our show this afternoon, here now is our daily verse for today. From Ephesians chapter 4, verse 32. Be kind and compassionate to one another, forgiving each other, just as in Christ God forgave you. We will begin our topic proper in just a moment, and we will be back after these commercials. Now this. Thank you. 
Welcome back to One Inclusion Live Weekend Saturday Edition. Hi everyone. Good day to all of Hi everyone. Good day to all of you. My name is Carlos Miguel Kanahashi from Hands in Inclusion Philippines. And this is my pre-recorded presentation proper for One Inclusion Live Weekend. Today is Saturday, July 3, 2021. Hi everyone. Good day to all of you. My name is Carlos Miguel Kanahashi from Hands in Inclusion Philippines. And this is my pre-recorded presentation proper for One Inclusion Live Weekend. Today is Saturday, July 3, 2021. In this pre-recorded presentation proper, we will discuss to you about disability rehabilitation. So let us define what rehabilitation is and disability is. First of all, rehabilitation is a scientifically developed procedure for ensuring the recovery from any kind of disability, injury, or the habit. Rehabilitation is a slow but a steady process. Many of the rehabilitations have ongoing processes involved in them. Like, for example, some processes in it are continuous. Those are set of special instructions to be followed by the patient in order to ensure that the malfunction does not hit back again. In the case of disability, this is the dysfunction of any part of the body or mind leading to difficulty in performing one or more activities. When a disease progresses to chronic stage leads to the disability of certain functions, any restriction or lack of an ability to perform an activity in the manner or within the range considered normal for a human being. Functional limitation is any loss of ability to perform tasks and obligations of usual roles and normal daily life. Chronic illness is an irreversible presence 
accumulation or latency of disease states or disability that involves the total human environment. In layman's term, in other words, rehabilitation is the process of restoring the individual to the fullest physical, mental, social, vocational, and economic capacity of which he or she is capable. Relearning of former skills, learning new skills necessary to adapt and live fully in an altered lifestyle. It focuses on the existing capacities of any person and brings him to the optimum level of his or her functional ability for the combined and coordinated use of medical, social, educational, and vocational measures. It must begin from the very onset of a traumatic event or diagnosis of a chronic illness and every aspect of the individual's needs and care asserted and addressed. So the types, types of disability are the following. Physical, neurological, mental, locomotor disability, speech, visual, and hearing. So the conditions are contributing to disability are for physical that leads to polio, amputation, accidents, for hearing, congenital, otitis media, or otitis media rather, Preparation, neurosurgery, acoustic, labyrinthitis. For visual, cataract, glaucoma, trachoma, vitamin A deficiency. Speech, congenital, brain damage. For mental, congenital, cretinism, depression, schizophrenia. For neural, CBA, hemiplegia, epilepsy, and quadriplegia. Psychiatric, alcoholism, schizophrenia, for drug abuse, mental depression, malnutrition, protein deficiency, anemia, vitamin A deficiency, natural calamities, argemon oil poisoning, trauma, and accidents. Consequences of disability can affect the individual as family effects and also the effects on the community. What is the objective of rehabilitation? First of all, well, the basic objective of rehabilitation is to restore the physical, social, and psychological potential to a level so that he can independently function and carry on an independent life. To prevent disability and return to normalcy. To maximize level of restoration through different interventions training and vocational methods to suit, working with residual disability and earn a lively and independently as well. So the rehabilitation team consists of the doctors or the physician, the physiotherapist or the physiotherapist, rehab nurse, health educator, nutritionist, and a medical social worker. So the types of rehabilitation are the following. Alcohol rehabilitation. This is a program is designed to make an alcoholic free from the addiction. It involves programs that will teach people the various bad effects of consuming excess alcohol. Effective detox programs that will cleanse the body from the various toxins of alcohol. Neurological rehabilitation. In this type of rehabilitation, Patients suffering from stroke, neuromuscular disease, certain types of head trauma, and spinal cord injury are treated. It aims at making the patient self-dependent. It helps create a positive thinking in patient. The patient is treated so that he needs an improved life physically, emotionally, and socially. Cardiac rehabilitation is designed to help those people who have heart problems. Heart patients are educated to live a healthy life and to reduce stress for the proper functioning of the heart. It aims at educating people about the various risk factors that contribute to developing a heart disease. The risk factors include high blood pressure, obesity, smoking, drinking, drug abuse, lack of physical activity, etc. Recovery programs from heart disease or surgery educating people about improving their quality of life. 
Drug rehabilitation involves programs that are designed to make an addict free from the addiction of alcohol, prescription drugs, and street drugs. For physical rehabilitation, it is those people who have changed after they have gone through a serious illness. In this type of rehabilitation, the therapist introduces programs to improve the mobility and functioning of the injured body part of the patient. Exercising program is done to improve the functioning of the physical body. It includes therapies that will help a patient relearn the basic physical and cognitive functions. Medical rehabilitation includes medical treatment programs that will help the person perform better in all his daily physical and mental activities. This is a follow-up treatment after any kind of treatment program. It focuses on improving major and minor skills that are required in the basic life. Vocational rehabilitation is designed to help those people who find it difficult to get employment or retain it after they have gone through certain situations that cause mental or physical disability in them. Vestibular rehabilitation it helps in improving the ear deficit by working on the central nervous system. It improves the eye and head coordination. Stroke rehabilitation. This treatment type helps to restore damage that is caused after a stroke, which is the third leading cause for death worldwide. Stroke rehabilitation aims to help people gain maximum normal functioning after the occurrence of a stroke. This also helps the person to get back to normal lifestyle and to be independent in daily activities. Yeah. The approaches to rehabilitation. The first one is community-based rehabilitation. This is a strategy of developing rehabilitation services in the community so as to equalization of opportunity for all. Attempt for social integration of disabled. There is a collective effort of disabled family and community in rehabilitation. Along with physical exercise, health, education, and vocational training are imparted for self and independent working and earning. Institutional, institutional based rehabilitation is when disabled persons are provided trainings in rehabilitation centers, exercises under supervision, and functions as a referral care for community rehabilitation center. Outreach programs are these are involving the visiting of the community or home for providing education and training for the disabled. Like um, places are the self-care ambulatory, effective communication, and vocational guidance. These are the topics involved in outreach programs. These are also organized from time to time in the rural areas where community facilities are not available. Efforts are on to integrate the community rehabilitation centers with institutions to provide maximum rehabilitation coverage to all parts of the country. Barriers to rehabilitation. Quality of life versus the quantity of life. Rehabilitation focuses on continually improving the quality of the person's life, not merely, merely maintaining life itself. Care versus cure. Many conditions are, are irreversible. Therefore, the focus of care is related to adaptation and acceptance of an altered life rather than to resolving an illness. High cost of interdisciplinary care versus long-term care. Rehabilitation is expensive. Why? It's because success is sometimes seen as a return to productive employment, maybe if the individual becomes sufficiently independent that no caregiver is required. In summary, though there are many modalities of treatment available and also government, legislation and acts supplementing rehabilitation, there is dire need to change the perception of society towards disability and rehabilitation in order to integrate specially abled person to the mainstream of society. And that's the end of our pre-recorded topic proper. Thank you. Okay, we're done with our topic proper this afternoon. Now, it's the time to have our announcements. 
Okay. First of all, we have our products for sale at the Hansen Inclusion online shop. Hansen Inclusion is selling first our products as well. First is our tote bag. Grab your tote bags now from the following prices. If you want the picture without text, the sizes range from small to large and it will uh, cost you 220 pesos to 260 pesos. If you want the picture on the front and with text at the back, sizes range from small to large and prices range from 270 pesos to 310 pesos. We also have our Bagong Tapang t-shirts. Sizes range from extra small to large, 400 pesos, and XL to triple XL, 450 pesos. The colors are white, blue, and red. We also have our One Inclusion Nation t-shirts. Sizes range from extra small to quad extra large, and prices range from 400 pesos to 470 pesos. The available colors are white, black, blue, yellow, and red. In the case of what I showed you earlier, it's white, blue, and red. Actually, for the first time, Hansen Inclusion Philippines is selling digital artworks made by its own artists. Sizes range from 8 by 10 inches to 16 by 20 inches. Prices range from 600 pesos to 1,750 pesos. If you want an acrylic glass, you have to pay an additional 175 pesos to 500 pesos, but it's optional. But wait, there is more. We have our hands in inclusion stickers. We include RES 250 pesos and in ko ang mga Pinay PWDs 150 pesos. So how can we pay? First of all, well, we will be very strict on payments. Payment first before purchase. We're accepting payments from Gcash and or PayMaya on this number flash in your screen, 0917-701-9684. Again, that's 0917-701-9684. We're also accepting payments from Palawan Pawn Shop in Cebuana Year, but you need to message the Hansen Inclusion Facebook page for the instructions. How... Can our orders be delivered to your homes? Well, first of all, we will uh, deliver your orders via our courier providers. In areas under the NCR Plus or Mega Manila, it will deliver to you via Tok Tok, Nala Move, GoGo Express, Grab, and Mr. Speedy Philippines. The rest of the country, it will be uh, delivered to you nationwide via LBC. Do you want to donate to Hansen Inclusion? Well, it will be appreciated for you guys to do this, regardless if the amount is smaller or larger. No matter what, it doesn't really matter. It will be appreciated for you guys to donate to Hansen Inclusion. How? We're accepting pay donations from Gcash and RP Maya on this number flashing your screen, 0917-701-9684. Again, that's 0917-701-9684. But wait, there is more. We also have our donation project and fundraising project here in Hansen Inclusion. It's Piso Para Sa Inclusion. So what is Piso Para Sa Inclusion? First of all, Piso Para Sa Inclusion is a fundraising project for Hansen Inclusion Philippines. The purpose of this is to help persons with disabilities who are less fortunate and unemployed due to this trying time. And the second purpose of this is for the future projects of Hanson Inclusion, including its formality or rather as a formal non-government organization and its expenses as well. For every one peso, you can help persons with disabilities enhance the inclusion Philippines for its projects and expenses in the future. How can we do this? Well, if you want to donate via Coinbank, 
put some one peso coins in either a recycled container or in a coin bank. If either recycled container or coin bank is full and heavy, message Tanzanite Lucian Philippines via their Facebook page for the deposit as well. If you want to do this via GCash, send any amount via GCash number 0917-701-9684. Again, that's 0917-701-9684. You may send your proof of donation via Hansen Bank Inclusion at gmail.com for the subject of Peace of Our Inclusion dash Gcash dash your name. So, guys, what are you waiting for? Please purchase our products from the Hansen Inclusion online shop. And please also to donate to Hansen Inclusion. Please, please, and please. Please help Hansen Inclusion Philippines for its fundraising projects. And we're aiming to raise funds for Hansen Inclusion Philippines. For those who did this, you'll be glad you did. And for those who did this, thank you for your continuous generosity and for your support to Hansen Inclusion Philippines. Hansen Inclusion is looking for volunteer researchers, captioners, and YouTube uploaders. If you're willing to work as a volunteer, if you have a laptop and or a desktop and a strong and reliable internet connection, if you're committed to work, if you have good attitude and character, and if you are a college graduate, you may send your resume at hansing.inclusion at gmail.com. Their activities for the month of July in Best Buddies, Philippines. This is the Empowerment Series, a month full of Empowerment Series of sessions, and this is a joint between Best Buddies Philippines and Atma Prema Wellbeing Group. The session will start today at 4 p.m., around 30 minutes after our program, with I Am Capable, later, July 10, I Am Talented, July 17, I Am Brave, July 21, Wellness Wednesday, July 24, I am determined, and July 31, I am proud of myself. So if you're interested to join via Zoom, you may send a message. But before you send a message, follow Best Buddies Philippines on Facebook and Instagram. Send them a message, and they will send you the registration form as well. Do you want to follow Hansen Inclusion on social media? Well, it will be appreciated for you guys to follow Hansen Inclusion on social media and its digital platforms as well. You may do so by following us on Facebook, Hansen Inclusion PH, Instagram, Hansen Inclusion PH, Kumu, H&I Philippines, and subscribe to our official YouTube channel, Hansen Inclusion Filipinas. In addition, you may want to follow Inclu Radio, Inclu Sports, Inclu Nihan, Inclu Gaming, and the online shop on Facebook and the Inky Gaming YouTube channel. So, so for those who did this, you'll be glad you did. For those who did this, thank you for your continuous support to Hanson Inclusion. Okay, I would like to have some shout outs, but before this, coming up later on Magpaya Tayo Ka Inclusion, we will discuss to you about the improvements for leadership. Find out on this topic later on Magpaya Tayo Inclusion later tonight at 8 p.m. to 9 p.m. with your host, me yours truly, Kairos Kanahashi, Bilsen Makuse, Christian Chan, and Asher Santos only here on Into Radio and it will be broadcast simultaneously on the Kumu app of Hansen Inclusion and also in... The Hansen Inclusion Philippines YouTube channel. So for our shout outs and greetings uh, to my family, good afternoon, hi! To Hansen Inclusion, Best Buddies Philippines, Best Buddies Benil, Ateneo Speed, the Guild of Thomas Science Medicators, the Psychological Society of Assumption, Autism Strong Philippines, Project Inclusion Network, Association for Adults with Autism Philippines, the Child's Dream Foundation, SM Cares, I volunteer. Angat PWD United, 
Down Syndrome Association of the Philippines and all the organizations. Thank you, Pop. Special Olympics Philippines, thank you as well. And also to those who are watching, it may be a good morning, good afternoon, or good evening wherever you are in the world. Sana nasa mabuting kalagayan ninyo. If not, you may use this time to improve on your mental health and your well-being as well. And also, thank you, God, as well. Also, to those who are celebrating their birthdays today, happy birthday. To those who are celebrating their anniversaries, happy anniversary as well. Okay, that wraps up our episode for One Inclusion Live Weekend for Saturday, July 3, 2021. I will be back again later tonight at at 8 p.m. to 9 p.m. for the Magpayo Tayo Ka Inclusion Show. On behalf of Inclu Radio and Hansen Inclusion Philippines, this is your host, Carlos Miguel Kanahashi. May the Almighty God bless us all. Pagpalain nawa tayo ng Diyos ng buong may kapal. We include our yes. We at Hands in Inclusion include us and include each other. One inclusion forever. Ngayong ikaapat na anibersaryo, may bagong tapang sa One Inclusion Nation. H&I, God first. Thank you. Good afternoon. Thank you for watching. Bye for now. Bye-bye. And have a blessed afternoon to all.